Operation video for Signal Fire Splicer I-6 Signal Fire Splicer I-6 can splice single mode, multi-mode, covered with rubble fiber, jumper fiber, fiber cobble and bare fibers. You need to download the software to your mobile and use mobile for automatic splicing. Now let's see how to install the software. Please enter the settings in your mobile and select security. Then find the unknown sources option and choose it on. Then exit. Find the app software in the mobile that you have downloaded. Click INTALL. OK. Finished installing now, then exit. Turn on the splice a machine. There is an app icon in your mobile. Click it to enter. There is a light outside of the machine. This is the light for WIFI signal. Click Fiber Splicing in the app, and select the WIFI that is the same as the WAFI number on the machine. Click the WIFI. The WAFI number turns to red, then click again and the connection is completed. The machine can splice single mode and multi mode fibers. Today we demonstrate the fiber splicing for single mode. Click Normal Splicing. It reminds you to do arc test when you use the machine for the first time. Arc test. The splice of machine will match the parameters depending on the different regions altitude and other environmental factors, so as to achieve best splicing results. You can operate the splicing at on or off screen status. Please read the operation guide for fiber holders on how to put the fibers to holders. Arc test this process is automatic. You only need to do arc test when you use the machine for the first time. The splicer is in automatic testing. The software will remind you once it completed the testing. It will remind you to repeat the test if the process is not completed. We recommend that the operation should be carried out when you use the machine for the first time. The splicing quality will be very good after the arc test is done.
OK, the software reminds the arc test is completed. Now we do normal splicing. We demonstrate the operation when turn off the mobile screen, it can save the power. You can put the mobile into your pocket. And you can ignore your mobile. It is an automatic splicing now. The automatic splicing is completed. It voice broadcast the splicing laws. Open the cover. It can do tensile test after it finished splicing. Please press against the holder cover and open the two holders at the same time. Please put the white section in the slot and do not exceed the top side. Please read the operation guide for Feidberg holders for details. It is in automatic splicing. The splicing is completed. Voice broadcast the splicing loss. Remind again, please press the fiber covers and at the same, you can open the fiber holders. So the fiber will not be broken. Put on the heat shrinker bowl tube. Open the heating tank. The heating time can be set. Press the button for heat. Now start heating, the red light is on. It is waiting, we can prepare for the next fiber. This is the heating time set in the software.
We can set the heating time according to different temperatures. You can see the splicing records in the app. This is the interface for learn how to operate. We recommend that you read it carefully. This is the operation guide for fiber holders. Look, the light is off. It shows the heating has been completed. Open it. Put on the protection tube. Now it finished the splicing process for jumper fiber and covered with rubber fiber. If you need to splice the multimode fiber, please use the multimode. This is our test. We suggest you do this test if changed to a different area. This is voice broadcast. You can choose it on or off. This is cleave surface detection. You can choose it on or off. If you choose to off, the splicing loss may not be guaranteed. Thank you. We emphasize once again how to take away the fibers. If it is for splicing jumper fiber and covered with rubber fiber, please take away the jumper fiber first. Press the holder cover. Then take away the covered with rubber fiber, so the fiber will not be broken. Thank you for watching again.